In this video, we're going to look at how we actually set up and light a campfire. So we've set our scene, we've got our safety materials ready. Now we're moving on to the physical act of lighting the fire. So there are several ways that you can do this. We're going to keep it quite simple in this video and introduce a couple of basic techniques for you. Um, the first thing to talk about is when we collect our firewood and how organised we have to be. When we are lighting a fire at Forest School, as soon as you light that fire, you as the practitioner are going to be next to the fire, you're going to be monitoring the fire and keeping everybody safe. So you won't have the opportunity to go and collect more firewood and bring it back to the circle. You would uh, have to ask other people to do that for you. So the best thing to do is to be organised and have your firewood set up before you start lighting the fire. So we've got different grades of firewood, different types of firewood. It's all nice and dry. We can tell it's dry because it cracks really easily. Um, and that shows that the moisture content is really low, which is great for when we're lighting a fire. We've got some bigger pieces over here, which are going to keep the fire going for a bit longer. And we've got our middle sized pieces and then we've got our small kindling um, over here. And again, nice and dry, so it snaps easily. We can ask the children to collect the wood for us. We often use different parts of the body to illustrate the sizes of wood that we want them to find. So we might have wrist sticks, thumb sticks, and then either finger sticks or match sticks. Um, the other thing you can do is to split some logs. So if you can't find dry wood in the environment around you, you can split some dry logs down to some thin pieces like this. Um, and then to make that even easier to light, we can make what's called a feather stick. So this is a skill which takes a little while to perfect, um, but using your knife, uh, we can push away very gently on a nice dry piece of kindling, and you can make some lovely curls, which will obviously light much more easily than trying to light the whole stick. So this is called a feather stick. It's quite a nice project, maybe for older children, um, and for you as a practitioner to have a go at. But the wood does need to be really dry for, you, for this to work. So that's preparing for the campfire. 